Hello, hello. There has been a lot of talk going around um, because someone has come forward from Idaho claiming that Santa was selling drugs. Um, so we're going to look into that. And the other day, the Lori Ballow um, validation video that I posted, I had stated how I used a specific method to get the answer and it turned out that it was the correct answer. So we're going to use that method today for a couple questions. One, we are going to look, for, I'm gonna shuffle, we're gonna see where the devil card, and I'm telling you this because it's important to set the intention and to share that intention with you since you're in on the reading, right? Um, so we're going to shuffle the deck, look for where is the devil. If the devil is upright, it is going to be about Xana confirming that yes, she was involved in doing that. Um, we're going to look to the card before it to see how it impacted what happened in this case. And the card after it is going to say, was she still doing it at the time of the murders? So one, what role did it play? Two, is the devil upright or reversed? And three, was she still actively doing it at the time of the murders? Um, we're also going to do the same thing for the justice card. We are going to see if it is upright, and this is referring to Brian. Um, is justice being served? And I know that justice will come after a trial, but I'm saying him being in a prison cell is that justice or are we miscarrying justice here? I personally believe that Brian is guilty. Um, that is just my personal belief based off of what I've gotten from reading the energy, but I am open to, you know, possibly being wrong. I am open to looking at it. So we're going to do the same thing with the justice card and then just see what message comes in based off of the cards before and after it and whether it's upright or reversed. What was the other thing? I don't remember. There was one more that I wanted to check on. Okay, so let's just do them and then if I can remember the other ones, we'll look into it. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shuffle the deck. I already shuffled it off camera, but I'll shuffle a little bit more on camera so you can see that I'm shuffling it. I'll mix the cards all around, upside down, right side up. <laughs> Not that card just happening to be on the bottom as I'm showing it. Um, all right, so first we're going to look at the devil card and where it is in the deck. And this is going to be about Xana. Please remember this is an energy reading and it's all alleged, my opinion, not facts, my opinion. Not facts, my opinion, alleged. Okay, um, let's first look into, so as I'm doing this, the Empress cunt came out and that's the card that represents Xana usually or the High Priestess, like her general energy. So I take that as a confirmation that she's going to lead us to the right answer here. Um, okay, I'm going to do one more shuffle and flip through. So, the devil is actually the card that came out, and that's the card that we were looking for. It's the only card that came out came out in reverse. But this isn't how I planned to get the information. Devil in reverse. She was not still doing it at the time of the murders. Let's see what the first card and the last card is. First card is nine of wands. Last card is queen of wands reversed. Queen of wands reversed. So this is interesting because this wasn't the setup that I was going for because it came out first because I do believe that she was um, because it came out of the deck, but it came out in reverse. So it's like, I take this as her saying, yes, I was. It's going to become obvious that I was, but I'm putting an emphasis on the fact that I was no longer doing it at the time of the murders. 
because the queen of wands is reversed. So this is like, if I'm a dealer, I'm a queen of wands upright because I'm socially connecting with people to do this, but it's in reverse. The devil came out before I looked because I was going to shuffle and then do the thing where I flip the cards over and see where it is. But this happened to be the one card that came out of the deck. So that changes things a little bit. I take that to mean that she is confirming, yes, I, I was at one point involved, but I'm putting an emphasis on the fact that I had stopped. Um, and the nine of wands came out as the first card in the deck. And that card would be representing what does this have to do with the Idaho case? Um, the nine of wands, what sticks out to me right away is that this is a card that deals with setting boundaries and maintaining boundaries. Um, especially when you've had a close call with something before. I do believe that in this case, this is referring to information about said type of operation, dealing or whatever. Um, information that other people were getting too close to, getting too close to that they weren't supposed to know it. Um, so I take this to mean, yes, she was. I do believe that what that person is saying is credible. Um, another fellow student, if you just look up Xana and drugs in the YouTube search bar, you'll be able to find it very easily. I'm not going to put the clips in. But um, I would say that, yes, that person is credible because they said she was doing it, but they didn't think she was anymore at the time of the murders. And that is kind of what this is really saying to me is that devil card coming out, especially because I always say how Xana is... Um, very good at communicating in this way. So to me, that card jumping out first when I'm still shuffling, not even looking for it yet, is her saying, I just want to clear the air. I want, like, I'm not trying to hide it. Yes, I was, but I was no longer when the murders took place. That's what I'm getting from that. I'm going to shuffle again, and we're going to do the same thing with the justice card. And this is referring to Brian. You put this. Okay, I can't get it to go any lower, so I'm just going to hold it with my hand. So remember, this is going to be upright to me. I'm over here. holding the suspense here. Upright towards me. Wheel of Fortune before it, upright. Five of Cups reversed after it. me that would be a confirmation my phone is dying to me oh my phone was dying right as I said confirmation dying confirmation Xana Z this is a confirmation from Xana that Brian's involved allegedly my opinion I understand that other people have different opinions but to me that's what that's what this is um the wheel of fortune coming out before it so that to me means a couple things because we're looking at is justice being served by Brian being in prison? The Wheel of Fortune to me is saying it's karma. Like when you do actions, you have to pay for them. Um, the Wheel of Fortune to me is also how I said before, it's like a, um, a cog in a machine. It, the Wheel of Fortune is giving me that image of like, I'm a piece of the puzzle. I'm not the whole puzzle, but I'm a piece of the puzzle. Um, I'm a piece of the puzzle that made things work the way they did. And then the five of cups being reversed, this to me is saying that in terms of Brian being in prison, it's helping the four victims 
move towards peace because this is like you went through something traumatic and now you're finding balance or peace from it um so that's what that says what was that i wanted to do one about emma bailey um but what card do i want to use justice the devil okay so i'm gonna do two more one i want to look for um i'm gonna shuffle and then we want to look for the queen of pentacles i was gonna, I was gonna say it's not gonna be the queen of pentacles it wasn't we're gonna look for the queen of pentacles and i want to see what comes before and after and if she's upright or reversed six of cups no. all right queen of pentacles She is. Okay. Queen of Pentacles is upright. What came before her is the Queen of Cups reverse. So she, as we kind of already suspected, is kind of void of emotions. She um, is not sad about anything that's had to happen in order to save her own butt. And the card that came out after is the Tower in reverse. So she's doing whatever she has to do and stepping on whoever she has to step on to make sure that she does not have her name brought up in this um the tower in reverse is like apathy so just like eh. and the queen of cups reverse is no emotions and so it's like we're looking at a woman who just any sadness she's portraying is not authentic sadness it's it's all an act because she's trying to fit the role of who she needs to play socially while inside she's just like eh, whatever they were they got in my way and now they're gone um so i want to do one more i want to do for emma what card should i use though what makes sense Sorry, one second, my brain is trying to catch up. Um, Let's do the Fool. Did I use the Fool? No. So I'm going to shuffle, and then we're going to see the Fool. So I want to see, because I just read something that um, the boy who passed away that Emma's in jail for, that his trial was supposed to start today, but then there's no updates about it. So I'm going to look into that a little bit more, but I just kind of want to see what we get for Emma. So let's look at the Fool. Knight of Wands reversed. method works it's just not very exciting so one second was the last card on the deck at the bottom and it was in reverse and so what came before it is the three of cups the three girls and what came after it is nothing because it was the last card in the deck Um, and 
what came before this, interestingly enough, and we weren't using this card per se, but it was the Three of Pentacles upright, which is like counterbalancing out. This is very grounded energy. This is very emotionally all over the place type of energy. Um, three of Cups reversed though. So Three of Cups upright is a group, reversed is independence. So it's like, I'm connected to the three girls, but one of them specifically, which makes sense, is that Xana. Connected to Xana through narcotics, or at least at some point. Kaylee and Maddie had inf see that's that kind of helps it make sense because Xana and Ethan were not targets, but they also were in the way because Kaylee and Maddie had gotten the information that they aren't supposed to have through their connections to surviving roommates and Xana. What did I say? Um, is this, is the, is the, okay, so I'm connected to the three girls, but one in specific is that Xana. Three of Swords. I heard all three of them, but yes, this is, that be Xana. Um, let's do one card for Xana's energy, one card for Emma's energy, and one card for the energy between them in the six months leading up. Ah, uh, six is long. In the one month leading up to the murders. Four of Wands reverse. I don't feel welcome. Xana, or yeah, Xana does not feel welcome around or by or from Emma. Six of Cups reverse. They had a falling out. We had a connection and then shh. Okay, so the energy between them, why did they have, they clearly had a falling out. I mean, this is, this is, we were friends, we were close, we were, we were, maybe partner whatever but then it went wrong and we can't be around each other so why page of pentacles and two of cups Is it possible Xana wanted to step down from her position and Emma is the one who took it? We go in the house to teach the two girls a lesson. If those other people try to stop it, it means that they're in on it too. We can't trust them either, so they all just go. Let me get a clarifier for a page of pentacles and two of cups. Two of swords reversed. Eight of cups, there it is. Somebody found out truth that they weren't supposed to know and somebody had to make a move about it. Somebody had to do something about someone else uncovering some kind of truth. Two of Cups, clarifier. High Priestess. I think Xana stepped down and Emma stepped into her position and then that's why the girls had to be taught a lesson because they wouldn't turn on Xana, they would turn on someone they didn't know though, or that they weren't as close with though. Now that Xana stepped away, we can finally tell what we know, 
with and that new person wants to protect herself. Six of Wands reverse, retreating from something. Xana steps back, she steps up. I don't want to fail. I don't want, I have too much to lose now. Although this wasn't the first thing that Emma was doing like this, there's definitely something else and then she just happened to take on Xana's responsibilities or something in addition to. This wasn't, this isn't like her just starting to do this. This is like, I already have a lot to lose and I'm picking up something additional and now I have even more to lose, potentially. Um... I think that was all I was gonna do for now with this. I just really wanted to look into th that piece. Um, so, I don't know if I want to touch on this, but something's making it pop into my mind. Um, there's some talk going on about maybe the families are not necessarily getting along with one another. Um, so I'm just going to pull one card for each family in terms of their energy towards the group. I don't want to go too deep into it because it's not really necessary for us to go deep into it, but um, just maybe to give you a window into what's going on, I guess you could say. Um, so let's start with Ethan's family. And again, I wasn't gonna touch on this, but like it keeps popping into my mind. So maybe they want me to, I don't know. Five of Pentacles reversed. That makes sense because that's like a hopeful energy. I'm looking towards the brightness. I'm trying to turn darkness into light. Um, which makes sense because that's kind of what they're doing with Ethan's smile and all of that. So that to me lines up. Xana's family towards the group. Five of Wands reversed, avoidance. I'm trying to just not be part of the group. I'm trying to avoid. Um, Maddie's family. Two of Pentacles reversed. I'm struggling to um, interact. I'm struggling to, it hurts. It, it hurts too bad to just sit and wanna talk about it. it um, mirror, like um, Maddie's family, when they have to talk to or interact with another one of the victim's families, it's almost like I see, you remind me of my grief because I see it in you. Like, I know what my grief feels like. I see it in your eyes. I feel it. I can, it, it makes it worse. It's like putting an exclamation point after how you're feeling. Um, it's triggering. Like, and that's not anything bad about the other families. It's just, I know how I'm feeling. I feel like my sadness is showing through my eyes. So when I'm looking at you, talking to you, knowing you also lost a child in that same attack, it's putting an exclamation point on my pain. And I just, it, I can't, it's too much. Um, and then Kaylee's family. The magician in reverse jumped out. Um, I'm going to clarify for that. King of Wands. It feels to me as though Kaylee's family, this is really sad. Um, how do I word this? 
Um, her dad may feel as though, how do I put this? Like how the media has portrayed Kaylee's family versus how they have portrayed the other families. It's almost like they're trying to not come off as aggressive as certain media has made them seem like um so i can i understand i just don't know how to word it the the media has centered a lot Um, some of the ways that the media has betrayed Kaylee's family has made it seem like they're trying to put themselves as like, um, the front runner of talking, I guess. I don't know. But like, so in terms of group energy, Kaylee's family is being very mindful to kind of let others come to them instead of seeking them out because they don't want it to seem like the media is correct in the way they're betraying them because they're not trying to direct anything. It's just like they were given certain opportunities to talk and what they had to say got more traction than what the other families got to say and it made it seem like Um, I don't know how to put it other than like their intentions of not <sighs> Kaylee's family's intentions are not negative in any way there's no beef there's no tension what they are doing is trying to make it feel even again because they were in the media a lot more based off of what they were saying getting a lot of traction so they're trying to let everything flow so that everybody feels evenly represented I guess I hope I'm explaining this right because I I, I understand it I just I don't know how to explain it their intention there's no tension their intentions or to just kind of be and see where it takes them because they, they've they been portrayed in this aggressive way and it's almost like they want the other families to be able to come to them when they feel comfortable instead of how they were portrayed, I guess. I, I hope that explains it correctly. Um, and I think it's specifically I think it's specifically Kaylee's dad and the way that he was portrayed, it makes it, it made it seem like All right, help me out here because I don't know how I'm trying to say this. Help me out, Kaylee. Eight of Wands reverse frustration. Um No, I still don't have it. <laughs> Knight of Cups. He's trying to slow down and let others come to him because of the way he was betrayed in the media to, to look like... The media tried to make it look like he was trying to take the spotlight, but really all he was trying to do is get answers, and he felt like he was the one that was closest to getting them since he was the one that the media was focusing on. So he was like, okay, let me push forward to get these answers. And then he's like, okay, well, now that we've reached the point of where trial's approaching, let me show the other parents that like that we're all in this together. It's even. I'm not... I'm not like on a pedestal in terms of talking, but I was just being very vocal because I was in the position where I could and I could use that to try and pressure people to get answers. I hope that makes sense. I'm not seeing tension. I'm seeing um, 
pain. Like it's not tension, it's pain. It's, it's, we went through something very similar. It's still very new. We have this anxiety of the trial coming up. And I, when I look at you, see my pain in your eyes because our children died together and I am having trouble bearing that. That's what I see. I don't see tension. I don't see families fighting. Um, I see maybe not as much communication as there could be. And maybe there is a little bit of, I don't understand why he's not being a little bit more upfront. And I don't understand why they're not talking a little more, like maybe some of that, but it's not because of underlying tension. It's because of pain and everybody just not really sure what to do, how to act. Like there's this long period of time in between when you get answers and when you get more answers from a trial. So this to me is not reading tension. This to me is reading, um, we're all processing grief in different ways, trying our best to do that without bringing ourselves backwards as much as possible. That's what I see. Um, let's end this with, oh, my phone is really dying. Okay, let's end this very quickly. Um, one message from, okay, so this card was in this deck and it seems important because it's the only one that made its way. Charon, the ferryman, necessity, focus, and transition. We did Zanna, Brian, and Emma. And for Emma, in the reading I did about her, I kept getting there's something about a car. There's something about a car. This is the card that represented Brian's driver in earlier readings. Yeah, something about a car with Emma. A literal car or just like she's the transporter or something along those lines um I don't know. all right let's do ethan you have sensed me when you felt a light breeze light breeze light breeze what did i say for ethan five of pentacles reversed Hope returns, light breeze. Things are progressing slowly, but they're progressing. Like his, um, his family's trying to be in the moment to feel his presence and not focus on the grief in terms of the group environment. Xana. Uh, Interesting because this is the card that came out for Xana in the other reading because remember I said it was like when they stopped at the bench and she was like, hold on, let me check on you with Ethan. Time is a precious gift here on earth and I'm happy for all the moments we shared. They came out as five of wands reversed. So they came out as kind of like a, a more avoiding, um, which kind of makes sense because her mom also has other stuff going on. So she can't really, you know, be in the group as it is anyway. Um, Five of Wands reverse. So you're just uh, trying to buy time, trying to, um, it's almost like procrastinating pain. Like, okay, I know this is really going to hurt when trial starts. So I'm going to try and just make it close as I can until I fall apart, until it's closer to trial. Maddie. Stop second guessing and wondering what if you made the right decision. Two of Pentacles reversed was for her family. So I said her family was having trouble um, talking to the other victims' families because it was like, I see my pain as a mirror in your eyes says so stop second guessing and wondering what if. So Maddie is essentially saying like, they're, they're probably dealing a lot with 
questioning what could we have done differently at this point in time and and maddie's essentially stepping in to say there's nothing you could have done differently everything unfolded as it was going to unfold um but to me that that would confirm that they are in that that stage of grief that it's just very difficult to talk to others who experience that grief with you because you can see energetically even though you don't realize it you can energetically see the same codes of your grief in the other person um so that to me would be a confirmation of that and then kaylee If we couldn't see eye to eye, misunderstandings, arguments, don't worry, all is forgiven. We got the magician reversed and the king of wands. I said that with Kaylee, it was almost like her dad was being not understood properly or not, what did I say, misrepresented or something? Whatever word I used in the media. So this is like, but I also said there's not tension. It's not tension. It's just... I feel as though I was misrepresented, so I'm not going to try and convince you that I'm not that way or whatever, but I'm just going to show you, I guess you could say, that's, um, to me, this is a, because it's the last card, it goes really closely with what we got for that family, to me, this is, Kaylee saying, okay, once and for all, they're not fighting, there's not tension, it's just grief and how grief is being processed among the families. I think that's it. Talk to you soon.